Experience presented by Underdog Fantasy. The $50,000 Elvatross is running massive overlay right now. So, what you need to do is use code MAYO at Underdog Fantasy. The link is down in the description. You get a deposit match of up to 100 bucks, and let's go fill that Elvatross up or at least get some more entries in so you can take advantage of the overlay that's going down. Me and Jeff haven't done a show together in person in ages. Uh, it's been a really long time. I think last year's Masters or last year's Custody Awards. So, it's been a year? Yeah. Wow. About that. Yeah. Well, it's nice to see you. Yeah, we're we're here. It's, it's weather's better for us than it's going to be at the Masters tomorrow morning. Yeah, you almost have to yell because we're at the circuit, by the way. So yeah, we're here in Vegas. Uh, we had the cameras turned around, but it was so bright that we almost got whited out, and I started sweating profusely. Cody Saftik is back there, just smoking a cigar right now. Don't worry, I don't think your wife's watching on this one. So we're in the cabana. We can see the odds up in front of us. We can see all the action and. You poor people can only see us. So should we finalize the bets or should we, or are people commenting about the audio yet? Can they hear us? No audio files. No audio files in the chat yet. It has been a clusterfuck, like the last 45 minutes trying to get this, getting off the plane, getting the equipment, getting the setup, trying to figure out the lighting. It's a work in progress. It'll get better as the week goes along because we're going to be doing shows. Joey Doni is going to be here, too. We have to figure out some room on the cake. You can sit right here. Uh, we'll, we'll get it in. I, I, Joe's actually texted me. When we're done, I'm going to go make some bets for Joe. He wants more Brooks, and he is he is one of the crazy ones like myself who are going to get in on the absurd Victor Hovland number. All right, so let's let you take the floor here. Okay. Obviously, I'm, I'm obsessed with Victor. Obviously, you know what? Let's take the floor this way, Pat. There are a lot of people out there that are hiding their Victor Hovland futures on their card. I'm not one of them. We've got lots of great futures, but you you were all bragging. I know some of you who are bragging about these numbers at Christmas. I see your cards. I don't see these Victor Hovlands. I don't see them, okay? You can post them. You can pretend it's as dead like betting the Buffalo Bills in a playoff game. Sorry, Paul. You could, like, that's how I look at some of my loser futures. They're dead like a lost football playoff bet. It was so long ago. That being said, he's crossed 40 to 1, Pat. Last year, we bet him at 40 to 1 at the Masters. It was a nice showing. We got ridiculed for it. Did we? Yeah, but I like, don't he can't that. chip. He can't chip. We can't. He still can't. But here's the thing a year ago, he was a loser who couldn't win events. It's the same number now that it was a year ago, and he's no longer a loser. He's yeah. a tour champion. He's won Memorial. He's won big events. So I have to step in front of it. I get it. You will not find form at Augusta, but I am praying to God. He, he, had, a, he had an interview this afternoon. I think he's praying to God also that he finds something. But I got to bet it. I got to bet it. Well, I mean, the big difference, and I, I kind of covered this earlier in the week, that what's different between him right now, the approach is horrible. It's below average on tour. He's gaining half the amount of strokes per round off the tee that he did last year, and now he literally can't chip again. All very fair points. I bet it. I've got the like the twenty-five to one future, like the dead loser. So it, now, but now you're gonna triple down on him. That's your move. A, I need a little bit more at the ceiling number. That's what I do need to do. Okay, I, so you have Victor. Yeah. And you're gonna double down on it. What else do you got? Anything new this week that we didn't cover on Monday? Uh, the Cam Young, Sahith the Gala, I'm all part of that wave. Call it chalky, I don't know. Call it popular, call it fish food, I don't care. Those are the bets I'm in. Uh, There's so many attractive ones other than the fact I think Scheffler is going to be dead. I've actually gotten heavier involved in props. So we'll talk through that. I don't know if people got questions, but like I said on Monday, I was going to bet the Gala and Cam Young, uh, and I did. And I, I did, did too. So my final card is in the newsletter that's up right now. You hit the description, you go to the Substack, boom, it's right there. You can find everything. Nothing has really changed for me outside of what I've been posting all week. Hideki 25 to 1, Lowry 50, The Gala 60. I got a Cam Young 66 to 1 this morning before I stepped on the plane. And I'm not made of stone here, people. 66 to 1 is a pretty good number for that. He's Cam Young. Can you make the, the, the Masters your first win? Danny Willett did, technically. Technically, um, it, uh, 
it's a huge ask, but the game, the game plays. We saw him hitting some putts with his kid today. He made so, those putts. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, I, fingers crossed. I've been on the Cam Young wagon this year after really not being on it on his first two great years on tour. I've got my flag in the ground that he's going to perform, that he's going to perform well. All right, so some bombs that I took. Uh, I have the outright plus the top eight. I'm mainly playing these as top eight bets because the top eight pays around three times what the top ten d does. That you know, I'll take the flyer on it. More explanation in the newsletter, obviously. Chris Kirk, 150 to one. Thor Bjorn Olsson, 200 to one. Taylor Moore, 300 to one. All with eight places. First round leaders for you: Patrick Reed, 55 to one. Sergio, 60 to one. Chris Kirk, 80 to one. Taylor Moore, 100 to one. Top live. I got Sergio and because you bet Reed, I bet Reed too. Both eighteen to one. Yeah, so I've bet Reed for top live. I do like that Sergio tout. I do, but um, obviously you're hoping it gets past the big boys at the top. I think Reed is live for a nice little week though. So I've bet Reed. I bet Reed top live. Reed top live. Okay. Yeah. And I got Akshay nine to one top debut top. And I have bet Jagger fourteen Loser. and and Ekro eighteen. Top debutant. Why didn't you bet Akshay? That's a great question. I'm betting Akshay two to one top lefty. You think he's gonna be? Tim said Brian Harmon's gonna win. I don't care. Two to one top lefty. I don't. I, yeah, maybe I'm. Maybe I am. Not giving him the credit he deserves for the debutant market, but um, I don't know. I picked other names. I didn't pick him. I joked on Twitter today, Pat. You can swag walk your top debutant hit. Harder than the Scheffler bros are going to swag walk that win on Sunday night. How about you just win something? Well, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. Just, just win something, and then you can feel good about that. You don't need to swag walk. Well, anything. I mean, like, your, 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 the top debutant market is good. The winner of top debutant is going to pay more than Scheffler. Yeah, everything's going to pay more than Scheffler. What else have Bonte I done? top lefty pays basically the same as Scheffler. I got, I don't know why I did it. Maybe it was, like, the sentimentality of that great, long form ESPN piece pat on Gary Woodland but he's a very popular top 20 and I played it at 5 to 1. I'll pass on that. Yeah, it seems coming off his best approach week like ever. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's see him keep that one up. Uh but more realistic top 20s that I that I have in the can uh Corey Connors banana stand you can put that one in the bag. They they should just pay me for that now. Uh, well, I hope he just comes top 20 at all the majors. I got paid 40 to 1 on that. I did put together a to make the cut parlay. I played this at Bet365. So you can play it with or without Tiger if you want to, although Tiger really does enhance the odds on this. Tiger, Keegan, Kirk, Olison, Harris English, Corey Connors, Patrick Reed, Siwoo Kim, Cameron Young, Russell Henley, Cam Smith, and Adam Scott. $125 on the 12 leg parlay pays, Jeff. Ten thousand four hundred and fifty-one dollars. Wow! Okay. Like, all of this is in the newsletter. You can just go find that. To all the cut yourself. sweat. Tiger, Tiger's the big, the, the double the, up on that. Yeah, Tiger's minus one ten. Yeah, Tiger turns it from five grand to ten grand. I I, I played it without Tiger too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, a name on that list that I have also invested in this week is Olison. Me too. Um, I don't mind him to have a, a lovely little week. Maybe my cheapest bet on him would be the two-man Danish battle. I've picked him to beat Hoygaard minus 105. Hoy I know, it's boomer bust with Hoygaard. No, I, I did, too. I, I played that. I gave that out on the best bet show as my silver pick, top Dane, Olison. I can see Hoygaard showing up and playing well. I've thought that for the last, like, three weeks, though. Sure. But it's been Olison who actually showed up and played a little bit decent. I mean, he Olison showed up and played a little bit decent on... At Valero last week, Tina Green. Hoygaard played great Tina Green last week as well. Actually, he played well ball striking wise. Couldn't chip, couldn't putt. But he also has a second place finish at Torrey Pines this year, too. Like, Olsen has a win, but it was at the Raza Gould Classic in like Oman. Yeah, I can't really overrate like one lovely Olsen Masters finish. But uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I took the, the minus 105. I played him. I played him in that market. Have you played any head to heads? No. Yeah, it's something I haven't gotten into. We lost the camera? Yeah, it's like audio is still coming through. Uh, well, if audio is coming through, that's good. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, I do. You have to press the, like, like you're taking the picture. 
Oh, you just completely moved the camera too. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you can't press the button again. It's sideways. You want me to do it here? Is it okay? One sec. Audio is still good, so I guess that's good. So you can see we we are truly live here and on the go. So it looks like our cam link went out. That's never good. Jeff, keep vamping, buddy. Are, are we? If we're live, I'm I'm ready to go here. Uh, ran into our boy, Cody, this morning at the Circa. He was at Augusta. He flew from Augusta to Circa before he went home to make an absolutely large Rory bet. I won't even say the exact number. Uh, and I've seen a lot of my friends betting on Rom. So that I find that, I don't want to say fascinating, but- I think it's overheated. I really do like the fact that the a sound. lot of people are trusting John Rom. I would love to see John Rom come out here and play fantastic. Uh, let me just look at my other- Probably is. I don't know. I had to. Wyndham Clark and Jordan Spieth. I'm fading them. Like, I'm fading Jordan Spieth as well, but I'm fading Jordan Spieth to win. I actually think Spieth like plays okay. I just don't think he has the chance to win with just with the, how poorly he's striking the ball right now. Hey, look, we're back. There we go. You can see me adjusting in real time. Look, because uh, we're on the delay. That Vegas heat will get you. Yeah, yeah. Listen, it is very hot here. As a Canadian, I am not used to this in the, I guess, the beginning of April, but there we are. Okay, so we're back. We should probably get to some questions. Code Mayo, underdog fantasy, that will allow you to take advantage of that speed free square. I've already put out a bunch of plays for it uh, in terms of I played out an 83 to 1 pick and play because of that free square. Because, I mean, how do you treat free bets? Like, when you go to a sports and get a free bet, you don't put it on, like, a minus 110, right? No, no, no. I'm not. You try to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to maximize, maximize the freeness of it. So with Code Mayo at Underdog right now, you get the deposit match. There's a Scotty free square, and this will unlock another free square. So if you want to go like kind of crazy with a five-pick entry, now is the time to do it. The one that I gave out was, yeah, here it is. Uh, I think this is it. That doesn't look like it at all. Anyway, I don't know where this one came from. Lowry, lower. Hovland, higher. No, either yeah, Spieth, higher. Tiger Woods, lower 74. Justin Thomas, lower 72. I don't know if that one's the 83, but it's close. It's close but yeah, to that. When I get free bets, I usually make bets I wouldn't make normally. Yeah. You try to make crazy bets, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get to some questions. I apologize for not getting to the questions here. So Zach is up first. Zach asks, need a pair to round out my lineup for DraftKings. Rory and Cantley, Scotty Henley, or Hideki Zander? I would go Hideki Zander. Hideki Zander. Ro Were you listening? What was at it? All? Yeah, Rory Cantley, Hideki yeah, Zander. Just look at the screen. It's the very first one. I would go. Yeah, I mean Hideki Zander, but that'll be hyper the most popular of the more of than the one. more than Scotty Henley. I think so. Okay. I mean, I like that one best, and I, I think Jeff might be right. It might be the most popular two-man combination of that bunch. Sorry, Pat. Got to support the big guy over on Ship It. Have a great show. Oh, I guess DJN is going right now, too. So, yeah, shout out, James. We have dueling shows on the go. Smash the like while you're here, by the way. Uh, I bet Rom, Brooks, Cam Smith, and Adam Scott. I apologize ahead of time. I don't know why you're apologizing. Who the fuck you are, and I don't care. So, no one cares who you bet, pal. You care who you bet. I don't. People are tuning in to see who we bet, right? Yeah. I got nothing to bad to say about any of those bets, though. You know, did you bet Brooks and Rom and Cam Smith and Adam Scott? No. Dude, how many secret Adam Scott bets do you have? None, but I would like one. I, it actually you, you dropped on me. I'm, I'm looking at it right here. Where's Where's Adam Scott on the board? The big board. Ninety. Hundred. He's, he's not even on the first. Yeah, page it's like the third, fr fourth oh, from yeah. the bottom. Ninety nine. Yeah. Adam Scott. He is my favorite hundred to one player, even though he's ninety to nine to one. That'd be yeah. my favorite hundred to one Ish above. Guy? Outside of like the insane bombs, where I'm actually don't mind your Taylor Moore, Cam, Day, like some really stupid ones, but forget those. So I like Adam Scott the most. 
Adrian wants to know, uh, he needs your thoughts on Christo Lamprecht. Is that the really tall amateur? Yeah. I don't know. He's, this guy's looking for this year's Sam Bennett. Like, don't forget, like, Sam Bennett made every single putt for three <laughs> rounds and then sucked in the final round because he's a fucking amateur. Don't worry about that guy. Were you I, able to get your DraftKings lineups in when we were flying? No. I don't make – I don't try to find this year's Sam Bennett. No, I feel not. like that's pointless. Yeah. Like, that's how you lose because no, yeah. one, no one is using these goobers anyway. And yeah. like just the thing, like Tambo always puts it this way in terms of DraftKings. If you start going to look for that guy, you're gonna lose your money more often than not. And B, even if you do take him, you still have to get the other five guys right at the same time. Like, is it worth it to go down there to try to do it? Yes, Paul. I looked for last year's Sam Bennett and found Jordan Sarfin, who absolutely shit the bed. Oh, That's right. That, that I forgot right. about that. <laughs> that is right. That, that was <laughs> The amount of money I think I lost on the Sergeant Low Am last year, being told how good of a bet that was. Um, yeah, and yeah. then Bennett was the guy who ended up just draining everything. Draining. How pumped were you when Ricky won the par three? I'm happy. Ricky doesn't have many trophies. Masters champion. He doesn't have many trophies. Like, he, he probably has a lot of room on the trophy case. It's lovely crystal. It's a lovely crystal for the mantle. Uh, Brad Scott just says, Neiman, 28 to 1, good value. Uh, there's no period or question mark. So, Brad Scott, if you're making a statement, no one gives a fuck what you think, pal. I think it's All a right? question. If that's a question, no, it's not good value. I don't think it's good value. There, I love Neiman, but there are unknowns. There are unknowns there. I do like to, like, I can be an apologist in that, like, I know he's never played well, but, like, these small incremental better playing... Uh, is something like I can glad hand on, but for most people that actually want concrete things, that's that's not going to work. Uh, from one of your biggest rivals, Emmanuel Ocho, or Ocho asks, Fuck that. Xander or Brooks? I like Brooks. Uh, Xander, but that that's crazy. What psychopath picks Xander over Brooks? You, right apparently. Here, right here. But you know what the crazy thing is, Pat? No. Part of me would think like I'm... There are so many people doing this. Is it like a Brooks fatigue? Like, people don't like Brooks. Like, I admit, I don't know why I'm doing it. I like to bet guys who are due as opposed to guys who are, like, good and, like, have proven it. I'm shocked at the amount of people who seem to be on my wavelength that would pick Xander over Brooks this week. I would take Brooks over Xander. Brooks or Hideki. I am actively taking Hideki over Brooks in that scenario. The books are baiting Brooks. Like, I've seen his num for how popular he is and how obvious of, a, like, a blind major championship bet he is. I've seen books give him boosts. I've seen books raise up the number. It's like that's their move is to, like, go. I don't know if it's goat you, but I guess they just feel like it's their best chance to make lots of money. I don't know. I don't know. This guy says, Tyler, Cust has more, Cust has more tech skills than... And then it ends. So, oh, I'm sorry you had a stroke, you asshole, halfway through writing that. That's disappointing. Tough scene. What else do we got on the go here? Um, people are not, Can you start banning people actively from the chat who aren't asking questions? Because it's fucking me up, and it's really hot, and this fucking music is way too loud behind me. And it's been a long day of travel. Ooh, say, let's go. Yeah, let's go is fine. I don't want to start, like, I can see let's go, and that's, like, a thing. I don't need people making their fucking statements. And, as of right now, if I see you making some fucking statement that's not a question, you know, you're banned for life, and you can go fuck yourself, and go go have a stroke with that other guy. Best way to bet Scotty or just pass? I'm passing. Just pass. I don't even know what the other way is. Okay. Like, like just for a second, what is the other way? A head-to-head -head versus I don't, Rory? I, I, I don't even know I what know. the... That'd be like minus 170 at this point. Yeah, like, I don't know what... There's only one way. There really is only one way. Somewhat sneaky pick for the one and done? Uh, I think it's Cam Smith. That's a good one. I think Patrick Cantley? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I uh, mean, I, there, there's a difference between a sneaky pick and a bad pick. Matt Fitzpatrick, then. Maybe. A little bit. Le not super sneaky, but I'm not here. You don't... I wouldn't advise getting super sneaky in the, in the Masters, either. Just based on who you see win this thing. Like, you're only not going far down that Well, that's board. why I'm saying Cam Smith. 
Like, he's a non-obvious live guy, but he's someone who can win this tournament. I, I guess if you do want to go crazy sneaky, like more the craziest sneaky, I would say, is Siwoo Kim. Nah, see, I feel like that's, that's too, too low. Okay, yeah, I feel maybe. like that's too low at that point. You could be right. I went with Scotty Scheffler. I'm not going sneaky, and he's probably going to be so popular, and the smart guys used him at the players, like you. I used him at API. A same, not the same thing, but practically. Uh, see, this Mac guy goes, I can't stand Brad Scott. I mean, I think he was the guy from the chat earlier. I can't stand that guy either. You see him again? Kill him from the feed. And, and that guy. Do we target first round leader for AM or PM? So with the way that the weather is playing itself out right now, and I did write this uh, more extensively earlier today in that same newsletter. So if you're not subject, like, what the fuck are you doing? Just do it. It's completely free. It's down in the description. Help us out over here, all right? that it all depends on whether or not they actually get on the course. Because, Jeff, the AM wave might end up getting the best of it in a weird way that if they don't end up playing until like 2 o'clock, which I don't know if they will or they won't, they could, they could yep. make th if they make them play through it, they're going to get the worst of it. If they make them stay out and they don't tee off on time, all of a sudden we're looking at a scenario where they're going to get, because the, the sub air is going to suck most of the wetness out of the course eventually. But it's not like it's, oh, it's wet, let's turn it on, now it's dry. I've they're going to get a circumstance where they're going to get the soft conditions, potentially, whereas a little bit later on, it's going to be windy, still a bit soggy, but it's going to be firmer on these greens. So the PM wave might not only get that, they probably won't finish on Thursday. Then they return on Friday, and just the wind on Friday looks horrible. So the AM guys for the first round might get the softer conditions to fire at pins, and they might get pushed to Saturday when there is an extreme wind to finish their second round. So that AM side, I would say that's that's a more unlikely scenario what I just laid out, but I do think that it's very much on the table. Uh, it's a lot of words there as you play through this scenario, but I totally agree. That is, looking at the forecast now, I would argue that's the most likely scenario. Morning thunderstorms, they don't get on the course and they get soft after, the morning wave gets the soft afternoon. Okay. That was more words than I used, and that just confused me. I'm sorry. I agree with what Pat said. There we go. But the PM guys are probably the play if you're looking at it. I just kind of did a mix of both, because most of the guys that I happen to like ended up in the AM wave, and that's just how it worked. What punt would you prefer at $6,300 on drafting? Schwartzel or Glover? I like Charles. I would go with uh, try to get that South African magic. Are you guys getting hammered tonight or what? I mean, it is like almost 10 p.m. my time, and it's only 5.30 p.m. here. I'm going to sleep. Let me go to the gym, and then I will probably go to sleep. Yeah, I was going to say, to you, like, it's a day of travel. I'm fragile, so I'm tired. It's early in the week. The partying will happen. But I, with three kids and two dogs at home, I'm as looking forward to an early to bed as I am the party nights coming up, Pat. I mean 100%. that. I mean that. Uh, I am a hundredth in the Pat Mayo one and done. Play it safe with Brooks or go low on Zalatoris. I mean, you're the one who's at a hundredth. I'm not. Just do whatever the fuck you've been doing. You're doing fine. Do you trust first round master trends such as top round one, top ten, twenty for Finau or Cam Smith? You don't do those things, do you? I don't. Round one. Like round one, top ten. No, top I don't even do first round leader. So that's an interesting one. I thought that question was going to be like, do you believe in those? Like. There's that strong trend at the conclusion of round one. The winner is identifiable. Yeah, it's like within the, X Like T11. That's why Rory never wins, because he always shoots like 75 in the first round. It's the eve of the Masters, and I am... Um, like, my sentimentality is starting to kick in, unrelated to bets, and I really do want to see Rory play great. And get beat at the end by someone you have bets on? Okay, that would be situation one but like the golf fan in me sometimes battles with the golf better in me and the golf fan in me is really like wants to wants to see rory play great wants to see rom like roar like the golf fan brooks all of it the golf better in me wants them all to just go to the trees and not come out the patrons have been delayed two hours coming in tomorrow already so tea times have been delayed? Yeah, it seems like it's going to be pushed back at least two hours in preparation for the thunderstorms that are coming. I mean, it's not bad for us now that we're on Pacific time. That means we don't have to wake up at like 4 a.m. to watch it. Yeah, it's such a... 
The Masters has really gone into a multi-year run of, of really bad weather, it feels. Yeah. Like three, four years now, we can't escape it. Who's your favorite on the Wheel of Losers this week? Who's the, who's on the wheel? I feel like we have Cam Young. Cam yeah. Young is the Wheel of Losers. Cam fan. Young is the Wheel of Loser. Uh, Finau's a popular Wheel of Loser, like, right? I've seen him get. He was 50 when we did the show Monday. And was he now? Like, 35. Ben Cooley posted him, and he just got crushed. Okay. What are your thoughts on Tony Finau, 45 to 1? I, I could, I, I could, some money could fall out of my pocket before I get back to my room. It's 49 to 1. I can see it on the board right there. Yeah. I, you don't have good enough eyes. You wear glasses, don't you? I need glasses. Screens are breaking me. Um, yeah, bad. I need an eye doctor. Bad. Bad. Who's the play for low lefty? It's Batia, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's plus 200. That might not even be there, but I'd still play it at the 150. Thoughts on Day this weekend without Vertigo? Well, that assumes that Jason Day makes it to the weekend. Uh, Day's in the Tiger group. Not that that's that, not that matters. Um, I, I like Adam Scott more. They're like seemingly right beside each other everywhere. So I don't know how to answer the question other than to say I like Adam Scott more. It wasn't the question. I know I don't. I'm really. i no. Listening? I have no opinion on Day. I, okay, then say that. You don't need to be like Adam Scott's there too when the question wasn't about Adam Scott. Sure. Who was the third guy with Tiger? It was Day and uh, Homa. Day and Homa. Uh, so uh, Byron is in the chat. Shout out Byron. Thanks for being on the show with Cam yesterday. Uh, Byron did ask if we have like girlfriends behind here handing us drinks the entire time. We we got Paul. Thanks Paul. Uh, what else do we got here? Where am I at? Play for low lefty. Besides well, Scotty. Let's just, full disclosure, like stadium swim at 5 o'clock in baseball season is not what it looks like when they take pictures during college football. No. Okay? Like, uh, uh, just picture what stadium swim looks like during baseball season at 5 p.m. <laughs> I am. Although it is awesome here. In the water. Oh, I can see all the games. It's great. And all the odds at the same time. If you are around, yeah, I think we're going to do a watch along Saturday. So we're going to do some Masters watch along. We got a cabana. So come into the stadium, swim, pay for the ticket, whatever it is. Come on in. You can find us down at the cabana. We'll be here. Um, and it's going to be fun. UFC probably that night too. Uh, did you forget your in public clothes at home? Or is this just what you're rolling with this week? I was not really sure what was happening right now. Well, I told you that we were alive. I know. And you texted me like 10 minutes before we started, like, where are you? I didn't know whether this was outside or inside. Um, yeah, I have clothes for shows. I'm in my air. I'm on my air. I'm, I'm still in my airplane clothes. I am. I haven't changed. You do like a, a good lounge on a on an airplane, don't you? What? Do you, what hold no, on. I'm asking you. Like, you want to be comfortable. I am. I am team. I am. Yeah. I'll wear. I'll wear a sweatsuit on the airplane. I don't know if that is like looked down upon. I mean, I, I wouldn't wear that, but I also don't own a sweatsuit. So I don't know. Steph, I have like thick black t-shirts that fit. Uh, yeah, I travel like, I'm like, you know, I don't take my shoes off on an airplane. That's absurd, but I'm. No, no, you can take your shoes off on the airplane. I dress. If you, if you have socks on. I dress um, on the airplane comfortably. It's a four and a half hour flight. Uh, besides Scotty, who's going to be the highest owned player? Hideki. Hideki, Xander, one of those guys. I think there's enough parity between the other popular plays. Like Connors is going to be popular, but Fleetwood at the same price is also going to be popular. Lowry, Henley. Yeah, but Fitzpatrick's going to be popular too, right next to Lowry. So like they'll split up the ownership just a little bit. At least that's what I think is going on. Uh, I would use fantasynational.com slash mayo, 20% off to go check that out. Would you take a 50% boost on Cam Smith outright with a top seven each way at Bet Rivers? The boost takes it from 40 to 60 to 1 with a top seven. I mean, I'm not betting him, so I can say I won't, but you like your number, you get him boosted. Uh, I put it this way it came down to me, I could have bet Cam Smith at 48 or Cam Young at 66, but I decided on Cam Young. If they were the same number, I would have bet Cam Smith. 
I would agree with that. There are some, I mean, as he mentioned, there are some really big Cam Smith offerings out there. What are we looking at on the board here? 49 to 1 here. And I can't believe, like, it's more to do with, like, he just withdrew last week with, a, like, a tummy ache or something. Like, I don't know why his number has gone gotten so big. Uh, I am fading the fuck out of Bryson this week and just curious what you think his chances to miss the cut even are to miss the cut even. Man, like... Again, like you're supporting the show, I appreciate that. But maybe you should like stop watching this show and like go to an adult learning annex of how to write a sentence. That would be very helpful, I think. Or at least forwarding the show. I don't like Bryson this week. It's hard to miss the cut at the Masters sometimes with so many people. It's 89 players. Yeah. There's not many players missing the cut. If There's you like, if you like the odds and you can get like plus 250, I'd say go for it. Why not, right? I don't think he's gonna be good. Do you? I think he'll be. I'm intrigued. I've got no. I've, I have yet to. I've got nothing on Bryson in any market. But I'm not looking to pick on him either. Yeah. Who are you looking to pick on? I mentioned it. Potentially. Clark. Speed and, yeah, something about what? Wyndham. Why? I want to step in front of it. In the same way sports books disrespect him. I don't know. I find that strange. But people want to be like, oh, man, Matt Fitzpatrick's going to win. But not Wyndham Clark, who actually wins. But to be fully honest, I don't, like, know, like, where do I go pick on Wyndham Clark? Yeah. Other than not roster him. Like, it's not like I'm actively searching for no, a market. No, but, I'm, but I'm asking you, like, who would you fade here? So, like, would you take a Neiman, like, Neiman and Clark are right around the same price right now. Would you play a Neiman head-to-head -head over Clark? I would. Okay. I would. I'm sure you can get close to even money on that. You could probably get Victor as a plus money underdog against Wyndham Clark. I'm honestly not looking to to back Victor in anything but the win. Like it's either the, the it's just boom, it's there, or it, it's just horrible. Like I'm not betting him to like continental Europe or anything like that. I don't even know what his other markets are. Nick Taylor, best Canadian, insane. I think in a four-player market, the guy who is the highest-ranked Canadian in the world, probably not an insane bet. What do you think? No, not insane. I'd lean to the favorite Connors, and I'd argue it's a three-man market because one of the guys, like, default out in my queer. Who would win in a fist fight to the death with no weapons? Custer Pizzola. Pizzola. Probably Pizzola. <laughs> the answer is Pizzola. Need an analysis on Bryson. Also, biggest fade above 8K. Is it Morikawa? I think the answer to your question, and you can see mine, is the answer is Bryson to both those questions. And I like Bryson. I think he's the best fade above 8,000 bucks. You boys need some sun. Well, we're in the, like, the dark here because it was too sunny. I am a polar bear. I don't know what you want from me. I would melt if I went out there right now. More Masters outright bets for you this week or Chargers wins in 2024. Probably, it's like a, it would be a push. I think it's at like nine, nine and a half, ten. If I actually had to go count them. Oh, I take the under on that. Of the Chargers. Chargers. I'm saying I have like nine Masters bets. Oh, okay. And I think the odds have the Chargers at nine. So ironically, it's the same. Uh, and I would think the Chargers are overvalued. Like, I love the Chargers, but I think if you're betting that now, you take the plus money under on the Chargers. Batia, Minwoo, yeah. and Spieth have a Q tag next to them. Will any of those three be more than 10% owned in the Millie Maker? I think Spieth will, uh, will get there. People will will die on, like, they'll be willing to die on the hill that, like, Spieth can get it done for them. I'm playing all three of those guys on DraftKings. Are you worried about this Minwoo finger? He says it's fine. Who am I to call him a liar? You? Yeah. Because that's, that's one of my futures that I could bet it now for more. I haven't. I said I would Monday. The broken finger, I don't want to double down on anything there. Are we hitting the table games tonight? What's your favorite table game? I guess blackjack. I'm not a big felt guy. I, like, I, like to, I will be going to play Baccarat at some point. But honestly, like, we're here for so many days. I don't know if I need to get it out. I'm not, like, jonesing for it at, for tonight. No, to like we're, we're going golfing on Friday morning. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. We'll play Summerlin, and give our recap of that, and then pretend like we'll have insight to the Shriners and just get it completely wrong. Uh, did any one of you bet no hole-in-one this week? I know one person, well, he didn't bet it, but he said that it was something that he liked as a bet. He doesn't bet. Um, he just says it. 
I, I, I don't. That's something I don't play in. I Ta- just Taylor Moore or Olison is the last man Ooh. in. Is this for DraftKings? Oh, our, uh, you have to shut down. You gotta, come on, producer Paul. You have to exit out of that, then reopen it. Yeah, you have to exit out and down to the bottom. Like right, right click it. Yeah, quit and then reopen it. I forget what that question was. Olison or Moore? I like Moore. I like them both, but yeah, I lean more slightly. I wish. What are you doing there? I'm think I wish I could be making those decisions on DraftKings. I mi- I miss making those sorts of decisions. Oh, Zach says, 30 mile per hour plus wins in the afternoon tomorrow. Possible morning actually gets better draw if they're able to play in the morning. I mean, the, the winds are like 24 miles per hour in the morning, and it's going to be thunderstorms. Sounds fucking great, pal. Uh, in a pool with only 20 people where we can only pick four golfers, no tiers, pick whoever you want. Do you think there's any strategy to this, or just take the core four of Scheffler, Rom, Brooks, and Rory? I would take your favorite three of those, and then one other guy. Like, I'd take Hideki instead of Rory. Yeah, I mean, it's so small. Like, if it was a 100 or 200 people, I'd be like, go a bit more outlier. But it's so small. Yeah, I, I think you just pick three of the big four and then pick your favorite in the next tier, probably. So okay. you don't have four for four. Okay. I'm playing 35 teams on DraftKings. How many golfers would you have in your player pool? Well, I'm not playing 35 teams, and I change that every week. So... However many you want to play that you think is right, play that. There's many ways to do it. I hate those questions. There's no answer. There's no right answer to it. You could say seven or eight and make all the combinations of one, or you could say 35 for 35. DK is illegal where I live. I don't even. I, I don't even know. I couldn't answer that. Only one: Jason Day or Dustin Johnson. Dustin Johnson. Dustin Johnson for me. Denny McCarthy, Lucas Glover, Adam Shank. Last man in on DraftKings. There I would take Lucas Glover. Adam Shank. And no, so double fade on Denny. Do you think he can come out and just like start rolling them off again, or did he get broken? I don't think he got broken. I'm sure he'll play fine. Let's see how his art, his uh, paintbrush putter works on these greens. Has he ever played in the Masters? I think he played last year. No, because he didn't get good till like mid year last year. Probably no, he's not on the deb. I'm trying to picture that debutant list though. I've been staring at that a lot. Have you bought a bunch of khaki pants recently to look more like Jim Harbaugh? Um. Okay. No, but I've been thinking about it. I've also been wondering in the NFL where they do like salute to service. Salute to cancer. Salute to everything. He can't just wear one hat. He's always going to have to switch it up. As you mentioned, I do need glasses. And I've thought about getting a pair of Harbaugh frames. So that's a long-winded answer. No khakis, though. All right. Uh, the Jamie says, I got Rom. Imagine this. Imagine coming into the chat, Paul, not even asking a question, giving me a bet, and it's like the worst fucking bet I've ever heard in my life. This guy bet John Rom hole in one fifty-five to one. Like, are you fu- Who is Jamie Rom is worth for? Yeah, like are you fucking mental or something like that? Like, what's wrong with you? I saw people doing this at the players, betting exact guys hole in one. That doesn't even make sense. I yeah. called out on one of my books, and I was just like, "Can you bet that?" That's probably. Oh, yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah, you can bet with <laughs> <laughs> Like, you went. Uh, Trying up an account with one of those bets. Yeah, Paul, Paul, throw off those UFC sharp plays with some hole-in-one on player, specific player hole-in-one. Here's hole in one. the thing. Even if this wins, those are horrible odds for a hole-in-one. Horrible. Let's see. Do you think DJ has a chance to win this week? A small one, but yeah, I do. I do, yeah. Jake Knapp. None. No, nothing for me either. Oh, the same guy who made the terrible John Rom bet says that Taylor Moore plus the 76ers championship parlay is 4,500 to 1. Ban this fucking loser. I don't even know. 
guy's a fucking dolt. Get him out of here. Clogging up my chat with nonsense. Fellas, uh, let's see here. When you wake up Sunday, are you prepared to see Bryson contending? No. No. And if he is, then, you know, I'll live the rest of my days. I'll be okay. Trust me. People think that, like, it's my job to say if someone's going to be good or bad. Yeah. I can't be right on that all the time. Obviously, you're watching. You know. I'm very rarely right. But you don't want to be the guy sitting here who's like, well, I don't know about this guy, and I don't know about that guy. I'll tell you, I don't think Bryson's going to be any good. If he is good, I'm going to be wrong. I'll look stupid. I'll be fine. I only put him Why'd you put him in timeout? I said ban him. Well, I don't like this fucking guy. I think he sucks. I've never, like, yeah, sure, if you, like, say I'm going to fade this guy or want to talk it down him, that doesn't mean you don't like him or don't, it doesn't mean you think he's got zero chance to win, but, yeah, I mean, I'm always nervous guys I'm going to fade are going to win, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't be the first time. And, like, I don't lose any more money. Yeah. Like, I don't, like. like if Bryson wins or. Justin Thomas wins, I equally lose money. Yeah, like my 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 loss calculator doesn't go up like 4x because a guy I said I don't like won. Yeah. Mm, you know. Uh, did you bet Fowler secretly? No. Sure. Swear you, on... You're pretty defensive right away about that. I didn't... I have not bet Fowler in forever. I would let you guys forensic accountant every single one of my accounts. I swear on Justin Herbert's ACL, there's not a single Ricky Fowler, nothing nothing and that pat there are people after rocket there are people with literally ricky fowler like 40 50 to 1 futures good bet it's probably this idiot from the chat after like, i bet a minus 110 to win the masters i've admitted to my loser futures i don't have that one to admit to if you only had one high stakes light up on DraftKings to build would you have scotty scheffler in it i wouldn't i wouldn't either i would just have to I have some Brooks, because I played, I, I, I played two like higher stakes ones for me, and I did one with an AM PM that has Scheffler in it, but I did the other one with a PM AM. It leads with Brooks, and it has the Gala and Lowry and Cam Young in it, and two losers. I might, this might be a very DK 101 introduction DK question, Pat, but if Scheffler finishes in fifth place, does he make good on that ownership and pricing? It becomes what? Fifth. Well, it depends who wins. It, it, Sorry. If, if yeah, Rom yeah, wins, yeah. then no. No. Yeah. But if he's the best of the top five guys, then yeah, he crushes it. You're probably going to need him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who did Cuss say have no chance of winning? Well, it sounds like you should have tuned into the Monday show, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you can go do that right now. Adam Scott or Sergio Garcia? I like the Surge. I pick Scott, but they're neck and, and neck. You've got Surge top live, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I might add him with my read bet. Because it's big and I, yeah. Uh, this guy says Calcutta, big pot, top 12 pay. Give me 3 4. Top pays 23%. I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about. Calcutta is, I think it's just like a pool he's got. He needs, uh, I, if it's not tiered, just pick the really good, pick three of the top four really good players and pick another guy. That's what I think he's looking so, for. So, okay, pick Scheffler, Xander, Hideki, and Brooks. There's your four. Sound good? Fade yeah. Rom, Fade Rory. Yeah, I guess that would get you somewhere. Top Korean, and why is it Siwoo? Because he's like the only one who's playing semi-decently at the moment. Uh, or Siwoo, Ben An. Sung, uh, Sung Jae and Tom Kim. They all suck. Siwoo. Uh, I'm actually really surprised at how poor t Sung Jae and Tom Kim have played this year, but that goes back to... Um, me like having projections and expectations. Let's see. Uh, any hesitancy to put Scotty or Sam Burns in your DraftKings lineup this week because they might leave because their wife has a baby? No. I just wouldn't play Sam Burns. I don't think this Scotty thing is a thing. People are talking. Do you remember people talked about Willett leaving? Like before he was, like he was still like a big, like he'd come down the board, but that was a thing. This baby's not due for uh, for like three, four weeks. That baby's not coming. I'm honestly not familiar with the Sam Burns baby it's situation. It's the same thing. Though. They're like staying together this week because both their wives are pregnant. Oh, uh, good for them. Henley or Fleetwood is a DFS value play? I actually like Henley better. Henley might... Is it... 
I guess in our niche bubble, Henley would be more popular, but overall Fleetwood will carry the day, right? I think they'll be close, just because Henley's cheaper. I mean, there's so many, like, dot points to Henley, but I still can't. I get I mean, the, in the like broader range Henley conversation, he's getting way too much hype this week for my liking. Yeah, I'm not going to bet him to win, but as a DraftKings play at 7,300, I don't mind that. Can Justin Thomas's new caddy will him to a good finish? What's your confidence level? I would say my confidence level on JT is six out of ten, but I did use him in a lot of DraftKings lineups because out, out of all those guys who are playing like really shitty right now, Cantlay, Thomas, Morikawa, Hovland, Homa, Hovland, all those guys. Thomas is actually flash being good. He just can't putt. None of them, like Thomas, was in the was he like a leader or a favorite going into a weekend? Then he had a horrible day. But those, you're right. The other guys haven't made even the the slight gains that I feel like we've seen from Thomas. Fleetwood and Ben Ann or Thigala and Eric Cole. Oy. Wait, can you just not play Eric Cole or Ben Ann and play like Thorbjorn Olsson instead? I, any chance you? I'm not playing Eric Cole. Eric Cole's a guy I would fade. Yeah. I was going to like, honestly, I like the gala, but I'll just take the combo that doesn't have Eric Cole in it. Yeah. What do you think about Tiger Woods this weekend? I think he makes the cut. I think he makes the cut. It is really funny, though, Pat. I don't know if you've seen it. My Twitter feed was inundated with people, like, peppering Phil over Tiger. Mm. Like, they're like, they think it's almost... They're talking about it like it's free in the same way they talked about fading Phil last year was free. So it just seems dangerous to me. You know, Phil almost won last year. I heard that on uh, my show on Monday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Ozempic of the week. Yeah, the, 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 the pick of the week brought to you by Ozempic. Phil over Tiger. I actually like Tiger over Phil. Who is the last person you would want to win the Masters? Ooh, good question. Can't lay. Okay. I've got two. One of them is Jordan Spieth. Oh, come on. Share the wealth. That's I want other guys. You can't Listen, I, I would prefer other people win than Spieth, but him winning is the best thing that could happen for golf. Sure. And, but I, and I like golf. I want good things to happen to golf. So he can't be the guy that you don't want to win. Okay, I'll give another one then. Uh, Ludwig. I, I, I can't stand this guy. He's actually my least favorite player on tour. Every time he wins... It should make every player on tour confident that they can do anything they need to do. Ryan Harmon? Yes! I, I sit there, I watch him, I'm like, every single guy on tour should get confidence when they see Brian Harmon playing well because they should be able to play well. I apologize if that's disrespectful. I never want to see him win again. So he's probably going to win this week. And then Custle <laughs> Victory Lab. <laughs> yeah, even, but I won't lose any more money just because I said something crazy just now. Who would be your favorite player to win regardless of the bets? It's three names in no order. Tommy, Tony, Ricky. Those would be the guys like golf fan, put a legacy narrative flipping wins. I would want Siwoo, Batia, and it's not even Luke List at this point. Who would I want? I would I I mean I love Morikawa that I just like to see him win if It'd be really hilarious if Morikawa comes from the clouds, wins, and then all he needs is a U.S. Open to have the career Grand Slam. <laughs> I, yeah, him coming from the... Who who do you like the... Is he the one you like the least of all the high-end players? Or like that tier you just mentioned? You mentioned that you no, would I, trust I, Justin I, I, the I, most. I, I like him second best. Who do you like the least of that tier of underperforming? Family. Yeah, okay. I just can't, I can't, I mean, Morikawa is not far behind, but at least Morikawa is longer odds and he's cheaper on DraftKings. So you're paying a premium still to have Patrick Cantley in your lineups. Maybe that makes him a great pivot play. I don't know. And that's the way that you can go, hey, Cody Saftik in the gallery. What, what's the UFC bet this weekend if people want to know? Oh, you're going to match up UFC and PFL? All right, so we're, we're filming Dogger Pass tomorrow morning, so check out Mayo Media Network in the Dogger Pass feed. So let's see. Who's your favorite outright with Novak not in the field? Is it Keegan Bradley? No, I, I bet uh, Shane Lowry. Shane Lowry follows on. I am too. The, the, listen, it's the night before, and the weather forecast, if people have been on the fence with Lowry, like this weather, like you should be jumping on. Okay. 
I wanted to pick Hideki at my work picks, but he was picked before me. Now that's just a thrilling story, pal. Uh, is Xander a good pick back? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, he is. He's higher. He has shorter odds than Hideki does. Do you think Day and Homa playing with Tiger help or hurt their chances? I think it has absolutely no effect. Uh, yeah, it's not like eight years ago. I, uh, Tiger's like 3.0. He's a friendly guy. No effect. Where do you rank Bryson out of the live guys? I have him on the bottom half. So I have, let's see here. I have Rom. Brooks, Brooks, Neiman, or Neiman, Neiman. Yeah. Do you want me to do it or do you want to do it? Uh, so we're just, okay, you do it, you do it. You do, it. Well, do you want to do it or you want me to do it? No, I was just helping you list them. Oh, I'm telling you, I don't want to say names that I don't have right Sorry, you're up. probably just reading I them I am off reading right off here. the thing I can see in front of me, Jeff, thank you. You're like Siri over here, but mixing in names that I'm not looking at. Rom, Brooks, Cam Smith, Neiman, Sergio, Reed, Dustin. Yeah. Those seven I would have over Brooks at the or uh, over Bryson at the Masters. At the US Open, I would have Bryson third. At the PGA Championship, I'd have him third. I think he's probably the third or fourth best player on live. I just hate him at Augusta. Especially with a whole bunch of wind, like non static conditions. Like that does not play to his favor whatsoever. Yeah, I would agree, but uh, yeah. I mean, I would have him with Reed and Sergio, and they have double his odds. Or triple. Or triple. What do you think of Ludwig, top 20? I think Ludwig's going to play great. Yeah. I, th I truly believe he's going to play great. I think multiple debutants are going to play fantastic. Like, excel, excel, fantastic. Like that fall major, where uh, that fall one, where, we, where Willie and M were fantastic. Uh, thanks for all the content this week. Enjoy Vegas and the Masters. Thank you, Austin. I appreciate that. It's been a fun week. What about Charles Schwartzel? Already talked about him. I like him. Do you try to fade in tier picks or always take best available player in your fantasy national ranking simulator? I don't know what that means. Do you try to fade in tier picks? What does that mean? What does that mean? Do you, like, go off your models? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's some guys that I just don't want to like. Yeah, you just don't like want Rory to. Rory rates out really highly for me this week, but Scheffler and Rob and Brooks all rated higher than him, so I don't want to get into a situation where I'm just playing the top seven guys on the board, so I'll pick one to fade. Have and you ever seen a guy, like, your model hate him, and you're like, I don't care? Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, would do, I do that every day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, does Cam Smith finish inside the top ten? Odds would say no. Like, if it's a yes or no question, I would say no. Yeah. Uh, smash the like while you're here. Underdog Fantasy, Code Mayo. The Albatross is not yet full. The major season draft, it starts, obviously, at the Masters. It's only about what the guys do in the major championships. So Code Mayo and Underdog Fantasy right now get you the match to positive up to 100 bucks. You double your money right away. Instant winner by doing that. And you get the free space with speed. In addition to this free space with Scotty, if you're a new customer, so you get two free squares in the Pick'em game, and you have all that ability to go do the drafts tonight. There's $50,000 to first place, so I would suggest that you go do that. I can't do any more drafts in Vegas. I was doing some on the plane, by the way. That's pretty good. Pat, is Pat on Siwoo this week? I, I didn't bet him because I don't think he's going to win, but I did, am playing him a ton on DraftKings. Uh, who are you fully fading this week, like? 60% of the field? 65% of the field? You want me to list all of them? Everyone I didn't bet, I am essentially fading. Yeah. L <laughs> list or Kirk? Kirk. Kirk. Go dogs. Bubba or Woodland? Oh, the list is like, could be local. Yeah. Ish. They're all fucking local. They're all Bubba or area. Woodland? Woodland. Bubba. Woodland would actually asterisk be on like maybe the guy you really want to see win, but has zero chance. Cust pick Neiman. Is he an auto fade now? Kind of. I mean, Cust pick Wyndham Clark to win the U.S. Open. He mentioned that to me today. Cust is okay at majors. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. He's picked one out of the past 60 correct. He's actually at the PGA. At the players. players. 
Oh, yeah. Who would be your biggest winners of the week or best outcome betting wise? I think if the Gallo wins, although a lot of people have him, I'm going to get a lot of credit and a lot of money for him. Yeah, I would, I would say that you, at least in my orb, I to me I know that you started the Thigala train. For me, it would be Neiman. I peppered that shit when it was huge, and I peppered it multiple times. I kind of hope Neiman wins. I mean, Custom would be right, but so many people I know would win money. Like, if it, none of my guys can win, I kind of hope he wins, because I think that brings the most money to people I know. Like, basically, everyone has Neiman besides me. If Neiman wins, we're having a bigger party in September at the Presidents Cup, because me and... Um, our two of our most loyal uh, listeners, the I don't know, uh, the Gallipo brothers. Are the Gallipos from the Belle Provence. Yeah, we have sp- we have a big split, hundred to one Neiman. Oh, nice. And we will be taking it. We'll be yeah, we'll be throwing down. We'll be rolling over into Montreal. So yeah, shout out to the Gallipos. Uh, what do you make of the three to seven Saturday TV coverage window? It's like you don't know that the internet exists. What are you like, my dad? It I is. Figure it the fuck out. I love that the. I'm starting to become cussed because, I mean, they do provide me the ability to watch any shot that I want, so I can watch any shot that I want. So can you. You just have to have an app to do it. It's called the Masters app. You'd think that'd be pretty easy to figure out. However, I do like that they fuck with people. They're like, it's our product, and we will show it to you how we want it to be shown. And if you don't like it, you can go fuck yourself. How about that? That, That's their entire attitude. With what they did with the final groups... Oh, sorry, the featured groups, like Scotty's not even featured. They just let you know before the week that they're boss. Like they, like you said it. It's almost like on purpose, Pat. Do you, well, you like Ekro top debutant 18 to 1. You bet yeah, that, right? I bet Ekro top debutant, yeah. What's your strategy for watching this tournament? Following a group or two or staying at a specific hole? I'm not, I'm not at the fucking <laughs> Masters. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> Man. Out of all the people you've mentioned, who's your favorite person you haven't mentioned? I don't fucking know. We've been doing this for, what, like an hour now? You know what the fuck I've said. Lowry caved in the rain at the Honda last year. That's because he was the only guy who had to play in the rain. I would say the favorite player that we haven't really mentioned here is I really do like Will Zalatoris. He's like 40 to 1. I think that's a good bet. But I'm, I just didn't make it. Yeah, like but I'm saying of a guy we haven't really mentioned, I really do like Willie. i uh, would be a great bet. Can Freddie Couples be Bernhard Langer from 2012, where he finished inside the top 20, but like outside the top 35 in DraftKings scoring? No, he's not even capable of that anymore. Better outright, Finau or DJ? It's DJ. The answer is DJ. I love them both. I does, bet neither. Does the Gala have the spike potential to win? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he does. What number would you bet Xander at? Well, probably, I mean, uh. that's a really loaded question. Because I've already made bets. So even if he dropped to 20 to 1, like yeah. I'm not getting back in. Yeah. Like if he dropped to like 35, sure. I mean, I don't but know. What is he's down to 15? Yeah, yep. 15 to 1 right now. Strocker or Moronk? I'd go Moronk. Uh, this guy says, even Xander never wins. But, oh no, he says that Evan Xander doesn't win. But he doesn't know how to use a comma, so it makes him look like a fucking moron in the chat. That's what it says on that big board right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's your favorite hole at the Masters? Hole. The hole. That's a, that's a fair question. Uh, I like 17. I just, I just feel like 17 fucks with people. That par 5 15 I always like is you see ball guys crush. It goes like over the hill into the water at the back there. And when they put, they, if they put that pin on like the far left, left, like near the on the opposite side of the walkway, so on the far right where the bunker is. Yeah, it like it's almost impossible. Like you almost want to lay up on that hole. Like it's a very yeah uh, yeah. Let's see here, who is harder to keep on topic, Cust, Cam, or Jeff? Cam is the answer, right? I, I'm bad. Cam talked wow. about beating up Gary Player four separate times during the show yesterday. <laughs> Shopping. My wife would never let me go to Vegas and leave her with the kids. How do you do it? I make a lot of money. 
to do things like this. Yeah, you pretty much. <laughs> like, we, we're not just doing this for fun. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Out of the 10K studs, who is the most likely to miss the cut? It's probably Rory. <laughs> Just based on his track 10K record. 10K studs. Yeah, yeah. I'd say R Rory has shown in the past of super elite players, his floor can be lower than the other ones. Yep. So it's got to be. Do you like Sergio over Tiger? I do. Yeah. <laughs> B now or Cam Young? Cam Young. Uh, I bet Cam Young I didn't bet Fino, So that sh that's my answer. Uh, you mentioned Charl over Glover at 6,300. Any love for Eckroat over either? Over Glover, maybe, not Charl. But you like Eckroat better, right? I do like Eckroat. Who is your highest drafted player in the Albatross? I don't fucking know. I just set up a queue and left the draft. <laughs> I don't want to sit there the entire time, please. Willie Z, lock it in. Comeback story. A lot of first-time major winners here. He's got the pedigree and the record. That's not a question, Nick. I'm, I'm aware of, like, the, the Snapple fact about fucking Will Zalatoris. But he has also drifted into the number range that's been kinder at the Masters than the 20s. Now, let's see. Have either of you had the pimento cheese sandwich at the Masters? I try not to eat cheese, so... I've no. never been. I'd love I've to go. Been, I'd... Not at the Look at this. This is like the fucking Masters? Give me a break. <laughs> Talk to Andy Lack. He's yeah. at the Masters, isn't he? Yep. Top five in order, one and done. Nah, ban that guy. Nah, don't like that question. Make your own fucking. I don't, care. I don't care. You don't care. You're too nice. You really are. We tell you, I mentioned that earlier. You're just too nice to people. You gotta be an asshole to people. Get stuff done. Like me, never wanting to see this asshole again. Where's Joe? Joe's coming in tomorrow. Pat versus Paul MMA fight opening odds. <laughs> that already that already happened, and Paul Paul choked me out. He got to sit down in a chair. <laughs> well, you got you got this. <laughs> he had me like this. <laughs> got drunk up at Cody and I's old place. Paul had me like this in a chokehold. We were in the hallway. He just sat down on a chair like this. I couldn't move. <laughs> you had good leverage in that situation. No chairs this time. All right. Uh, does the shade being thrown at live players by all these PGA boomers help them? How would it help them? Comment. Oh, wait. Ex I, I would like to understand the question a little bit better because it's fucking stupid the way that you have phrased it. How does it help them? Explain. Let me know when it comes up in the chat. But, but that's not a question. Oh, he's getting banned anyway because the question's fucking stupid. But I, I would like to know how that makes any sense. What do you think, Jeff? Do you think it helps them? I don't even know how to quantify like yeah. what like what Steve Elkington is tweeting, like who gives a shit? Yeah. What I like no, Brooks saw it. Now he now he wasn't trying to win the Masters before, but now he's really gonna try to win like the Masters. Like Hal yeah. Sutton is calling What the fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Idiots. How not, much not all of you, but that guy who asked that question, idiot! How much longer if, you if your brain works that way, you need to see some sort of specialist. Maybe a neurosurgeon. Because there's something fucking wrong with you. I've been up for a lot of hours. Pat's been up. Pat's been traveling. His travel day's been a lot longer than mine. Um, how much longer do you want to take questions for? Two minutes or so. Okay. Uh, any thoughts on Justin Rose, top Englishman? He's a guy I, I honestly don't think I've thought about once since Monday. Not one time. Other than it was brought up when he like he became number one player in the world before a Masters like four or five years ago, I have no opinion. Top Englishman, top Englishman. That's Fitz, Tommy, Hatton, Willett. Hat Hatton sneaky like plays okay. By yeah, like, I can see Hatton being like T twenty three. Yeah, like sneaky plays okay, and then maybe. Okay enough for maybe me to like want to bet him at a future Masters. Probably not that good though. Yeah. Uh, will Tommy Fleetwood make the cut? Yes. Yes. Who's oh. the worst player you can think of that you would want to back to make the cut? Charles? Yeah. Taylor Moore? <laughs> I guess from an odds perspective, like Taylor Moore, Cam Davis. I'm not. No, I would not. On Cam Davis, that would not. Oh, get I my guess money. that's like as though, yeah. That just wouldn't get my money. 
Uh, Thorbjorn. Uh, thank you for the content this week. You guys hitting any bomb dinner spots in Vegas? I, I just want to go to fucking sleep. I said to my wife, I'm sure we'll be doing dinner. I'm sure you'll have a dinner place or two for us later in this trip, but tonight is bed. I mean that. Yeah. <laughs> you go hit the gym after this. You get a nice sleep. It'll be great. All right. That's it. That's Masters Week on the Pat Mayo Experience. Thank you all for tuning in, supporting all the content this week. Uh, Dogger Pass will be out on Thursday. That is tomorrow. We'll be filming it live from here as well. Hopefully it's not so sunny. You know, we, we could have done the shot now. Yeah, the shot. We, we can get Cody in the shot here. I'll, I'll turn it around. Cody, you're going to be on cam. See, now that it's not so ridiculously hot out, I guess it doesn't completely go. There we go. There's Cody. There's the sports book. We are at the Circa. And the lighting actually looks a little bit better now. It's still very dark is the thing. On your face. So... Yeah, well, what was happening before is that the light was, like, backlighting. So, like, you just, yeah, you were just whited out in the background, and that was everything. Anyway, the uh, full recap that I've done of all of the news of the week and all the Wednesday ownership thoughts, weather thoughts, that's all condensed in the newsletter post that I put out earlier. Code Mayo at Underdog Fantasy. Let's fill up the albatross and help us out by using Code Mayo and getting that deposit match of up to 100 bucks. We got the cut sweats once we figure out when... When you guys are actually getting on the course. Yeah. And we got some recap shows, and we'll try to figure out uh, the audio from here on out. We'll listen back, and we'll test out some different things. And maybe we can see if we can get them to turn down the background noise. It's loud. Very loud, all right? I'm Pat Mayo. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.